What's inside the suitcase? Well, nothing right now. I've already cleared it out, but let me show you. Essentially, all of this was inside of this suitcase. The suitcase and all of its contents came from someone who came by the store last week who apparently buys um, abandoned storage lockers. And this came from one of those. So anyway, they brought me some video games and then all of this stuff. A lot of different items. There's two items that are not currently here because I've already listed one of them on eBay and the other one I plan on listing on eBay tomorrow. Uh, one of them was a book that was signed by the author. The interesting thing was I couldn't find one single copy of it. It's in Russian and the guy was a famous actor back in the day, probably in the 60s, 70s, that kind of thing. Um, so that was interesting. It was actually signed by him to his neighbor. <clears throat> and then the other, other item was a GameStop catalog from 2001. So that's interesting. Had all kinds of PS1 games, PS2 games, um, what was it called? Game Boy, all different kinds of stuff. So anyway, that was also in there, but included all of this as well. So it was mostly books with some DVDs, some other things. So I spent $30 way more, or not way more, but a little bit more than I wanted to. But if this guy's going to bring me other stuff, I'm willing to overpay a little bit um, for him to come back. But we will see if he comes back. Of course, there's no guarantee. But building relationships, building that network is important. And the fact that I'm here brought him to me. And um, I know he'd already gone to GameStop with some video games. And the two that he had, he couldn't sell to them for a variety of reasons. But I put them in my store. And they're good games. So we'll see if he brings any more stuff like that to me. So essentially what we have here is a smattering of books, <laughs> some comic books, uh, a couple of PC video games, etc., some DVDs, even a audiobook. You let me know if you think this was worth it. Now, for 30 bucks, most of this is going to be put in my store, my local store, which is right here. I just opened. It's a little after 10 o'clock. So on a Friday, it is November 10th, 2023. Uh, so I'm making this video until, or while no one's here anyway. Um, so yeah, so we have a couple of PC games. There is the B movie game, game demo. I like to have, I have a nice collection of PC game or selection of PC games in my store. Um, and so I like to add new ones that I don't have, especially when I look them up and I see that they might be have some in. Hold on. Current PC video game selection in the store, which is in addition to all the other video games. I think I have a decent selection. Always looking to grow it though and find more. And yes, some people do buy PC video games still. Also got the Mockingjay audiobook. I do have audiobooks that I sell in the store. And then three sealed DVDs. These two, Talents of Mr. Ripley, Big Daddy, and Look Who's Talking. And then Mind of Bencia. I'm going to put these two in the store. These two I'm going to put to the side because I like to sell uh, sealed DVD lots. So I try to collect as much as those together before I get a good enough amount. And then I got a variety of books. These aren't great, but um, this one was interesting. Put that in the store. Uh, these two, the Go Giver and Go Giver Sell More. Those actually sell pretty often on eBay, on Amazon. There just aren't any, isn't any profit in it, but I'll put them in the store. Uh, a couple of different books here that aren't really worth mentioning, but I will put them in the store anyway and uh, see how they do. They're not worth it individually online for sure, but I always like to have a variety of books, <clears throat> book offerings in the store for sure. This one, if it was in much better condition, would be a nice, nice offering here uh, locally. It's Battlestar Galactica. This is from, I believe, 1978. Even in better condition, it doesn't go for a ton of money, but it goes for more than the current condition it's in. I'm gonna list it for or sell it for three dollars in the store. Uh, it's got some tears here, of course, that type of thing. But the pages, pages are intact. So to someone that's really into that type of stuff, they'll probably pick it up. Um, yeah. And then I got a couple of interesting items over here. Star Wars, the Visual Dictionary. Uh, I'll put in the store. This is interesting manga. Manga Mania Universe, the massive book of drawing manga to go along with Drawn Paint Fantasy Art, Warriors and Heroes. 
So these are cool for people that obviously want to start drawing this type of stuff. <clears throat> Giant book here that I will put in the store in my, well, I'll put it out initially and then I'll put it in the drawing uh, section. And then this one, which unfortunately does not have the dust jacket, but it looks really cool, the secret art of Dr. Seuss. I've never actually seen this one before. This is all artwork that he created. Um, that's really unique. So I think that somebody might be interested in that as well. And then I have all three of these. The Only Living Boy. I've got the first one, the second one, and the third one. So that might be good for someone to come in and buy. This is uh, Fortnite Batman called Zero Point. I'm not familiar with this stuff, but I always like to have a variety of comic books, graphic novels, manga, as much as I can in the store. <clears throat> this is a special issue from Time about 9-11, so I'll put that in the store. And there is Paris Hilton from Maxim. So, a variety of stuff here. Some stuff for kids, some stuff for adults, different tastes, different genres. Um, what do you think? Is it worth it? Uh, cumulatively here... For stuff to sell in the store, I'll do, um, I'll make a little bit of profit. And then when you add the other two items I'm listing on eBay, if, if and when those sell, that'll put me in some nice profit because the book is pretty unique. I'm, I'm listing it for 100 bucks. The other item lists for 30 bucks. So potentially $130 worth of sales, but of course it could be much less. Uh, we will see. But again, for me, it's not just about finding or uh, making that profit off of the money I spent, which of course I, I need to do in general, but it's about potentially getting more items from that person uh, and building those networks. I also bought two, two like I said, two uh, video games from them, uh, an Xbox, and I can't remember what the other one was, but those are nice video games that should sell in the store as well. Considering that that suitcase, suitcase here, came from a storage locker, which means it was left abandoned and uh, someone didn't want it. It's not uncommon that other types of stuff end up in there. Uh, there was this random bracelet, which is whatever. But then there was this, which is kind of unique. And then there was this as well. And there was also a um, magazine in there from, I don't know, at least it looked to be at least 15 to 20 years old. It was a magazine for um, for older people, let's just say, that has stuff in there that's not for younger people. I don't want to say it in the video, but you kind of get the drift. And um, yeah, so all kinds of different variety in the one suitcase, which is not uncommon when uh, finding stuff in a storage locker that's been abandoned uh, or people stop paying. I do know that's something big that people do. Of course, all the shows on on sh on TV that have been on there for a long, long time, Storage Wars and all that stuff. So, uh, so this was a nice little haul. Uh, hopefully, the guy comes back and brings me some other stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.